Hey guys, okay, this is a video where I don't have any, any makeup and it's going to be super quick. It's just how to do a really cute ballerina bun or a top knot. So, as you know, it's been a couple, well, it's been a couple days since I washed my hair and did it. So, you know, it's just starting to get a little oily, a little dirty. So, what I like to do at this point is put it in a bun. So, since usually my bangs are still okay, I usually just leave that part out. Um, I did curl my hair, so it's going to look a little bit different probably when you do it with straight hair, but probably just the same. And I have medium length hair. Um, my hair stopped right there. So, Alright. And I did have it in a bun before, so that's probably why it's going to be a little bit easier for me to put it in a bun. Alright, so if you like volume, you can... Do a little tease here, but I'm not going to do a tease because I don't really need it. I have enough um, hair up there. So, um, I like to make mine really um, high. So, first what I do is just finger comb it up. Finger comb it all up. Um, I think it's cute to, like, leave a, cute, a couple, like, pieces out and stuff. Um, this is actually how I wore my hair to my first time on the college campus that I'm going to. My college that I'm going to. So, I thought it was just a really cute look. Um, kind of different. Still, like, casual, so you don't look like you're trying too hard, you know, when you have, like, really perfectly curled hair. But, still very cute and, um, you know, stylish and stuff. So, yeah. Um, another piece of hair out. Okay. So, yeah. You're going to gather it all the way on the top of your head. Um... I don't know if it's just me, but I think pretty much everybody has, like, this flat part on the top of their head. But that's where I position the bun. Uh, but if you look at it, it's kind of like the line where your part is if you do a side part. It's kind of like if you go diagonally back to where your part is. So, Alright, so now you're going to get it. And you're just going to need bobby pins. I don't even use a brush, but some people might need a brush for this. I take my little elastic... And it's fine if it's colored um, because you're not going to be able to see the elastic in the end anyway. So all you do is just put it in a bun. I mean not in a bun. I'm sorry. Put it in a ponytail. <laughs> so you're going to have a ponytail kind of like this. And you can see it kind of already looks like a bun. Um, I feel like when I actually finish, I kind of look like Tinkerbell. But um, I think that's kind of funny. So now all I do is um, I kind of spread my hair out in a waterfall. And I just start kind of wrapping the hair. Um, if it's like going like this, I just wrap the hair in this direction. And the great thing about this is when you take your hair down, it'll have volume. And the ends will be still curled. They won't be all dented like, you know, sometimes when you do your hair, you get like a big dent in it from the um, scrunchie. And so I'm just putting all pins all around. And this is also great because your hair will look thicker um, because of the bun, since you're using your own hair, the bun, sorry, the bun kind of makes your hair look thicker and stuff, so. Put some other hairs in front. And then just pin the back down. The same way you did the front pieces, just pin it underneath. Because you really don't want to see any um, pins. I like to pin them straight through. So it's really neat. As you can see, if you want to pull out some more hairs, that's fine. I find that throughout the day, my hair kind of moves anyway. So uh, if I do it kind of messy the first time, it's going to be really messy at the end of the day. So I just kind of do it kind of neatly, actually. So, um, yeah. And then I kind of like to add some cute little clips. So these are from Forever 21. These were honest. These were like $2, I think. Um, or less. So just stick them in. Two little bows. So yeah, I think this is really cute. Um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.